Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and it's autumn, a great time to do this radical insetti propagation. Now insettes as you know are Abyssinian bananas but they're ones that never produce pups so it's really hard to propagate them. But I have a fantastic propagation method for you. It's great fun to do, completely radical. You think you're going to destroy the plant whatsoever and yet at the end you end up with hundreds of pups. So let's see how it's done. Okay, so we're starting with an Ancete banana. Now, I'm just going to say that this isn't your regular Ancete banana because it's already been hacked. And in the intro to this video, you'll have seen a photograph of Ancete bananas in full leaf. And they're glorious, they really are. So the first step you need to do for this radical propagation is prepare your Ancete for winter, which is what's been done here. Now, <laughs> This involves chopping off the leaves and the roots and I'm very sorry to tell you that due to a cutting room disaster I lost the footage of me doing that so I'm just going to have to tell you how that first step is done. So you take a bread knife and you cut off all the leaves around the plant until you're left with something like this and you cut off most of the roots down at the bottom. And then once you've done that, and that's great fun, what you do is put it upside down like this in a cool dry place for about two weeks. Now dry is really important because the reason for putting it upside down like this is to let all of the liquid or a lot of the liquid drain out of the banana because these are really really wet plants. So do that for two weeks and then you're in the position that we are now. And the next step I'm going to show you is the radical propagation of this Ancete banana. So come with me, let's go outside to the stone table and get the bread knife at it. And this is the Ancete banana that I'm going to propagate. And this is a radical propagation method which you're going to love seeing. Well, I'm going to love doing it. It's my first time doing it, but there you go. Okay, so these uh, bananas don't normally produce pups, so we're going to force it into doing so. And the way to do that is to use this section here. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to really cut off the top growth with a bread knife. There. And you can see that this is just leaves. Um, a banana, of course, isn't a true tree. It just produces masses and masses of leaves. Now, for this as well, what we're going to do is um, cut off most of this root stuff as well. I told you this was radical. Now, what I'm actually going to do is come down closer because this is still all like leaves. So we'll try here. And I think this white bit in the middle is the bit like it's the kind of genetic makeup of the plant is held in that and that's from where the propagation um, can resume. It's the meristem area. Now, <laughs> I'll remove these in a minute. But what I'm going to do is cut this into quarters. Okay, so I'm going to go across like this. <clears throat> and this is hard. And here, look. This white section is the section that is going to regenerate. The rest is just leaves. And actually, when I cut it off the top, I cut it quite in the right position. Now I'm going to cut this in half. Wow. Okay, and the same thing again. The other half of the plant. Okay, now I just, this, this brown stuff I don't like, I'm going to just try and pare some of this off. It's 
kind of roots that had rotted basically I think so we don't need that now ideally I think you're supposed to have a few roots on this but I don't have any but we shall trust the process and hopefully we don't ne actually need those roots okay the next um, step in the process is to mix up some compost and I'm going to use about 60% multi-purpose compost about 40% perlite and you can tell I'm using a very accurate measuring tool here so that's about right it all up and the perlite will just facilitate the process of not rotting this off and I couldn't find uh, sulfur for dusting as a fungicide so this is what I'm using I've never used it before it's fungus clear and you make it up with water which I've done here and I'm gonna actually since I don't have a sprayer just dip the bits in there Okay, so I have appropriately sized pots. First thing I'm going to do is put some of my mix at the bottom. Take one of these lads. Dip it this way into the fungicide. And just try not to touch it with my fingers. I should wear gloves for this and that. And then I'm going to put it here in the pot this way up okay so you make sure that down remains down and I'm going to top this up with some compost now what you do is don't water it for a while so I'm not going to water it for a while so there's the first one and it just sits a bit proud of the soil like that. And there we go I finished this very mucky task and these little babies are going to come with me in the house these are not going to be stored cold they're going to be kept warm so I'm going to let them dry out for about a day and then I'm going to water them a bit and put them on a heated propagator in a sealed unit so the humidity stays in and within a couple of months I should see some baby pups coming up now what will happen first is that they look like they're drying out completely and the like here the um, the, the leaves will kind of dry out and separate a little bit and it look like it's not doing very well but hopefully then the pups should start so that was my video on propagating and setting bananas a very radical propagation and I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps you'll try it at home but in any case do check back in a couple of months time where we see how those plants are doing and how those pops all sprout up. Thanks very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and check back for lots more plant and garden fun. Bye!